in this video we are going to learn how to solve a um, system of linear equations so the first method that we'll learn is the substitution method and let's take an example to understand how we can use the substitution method in order to uh, solve uh, uh, systems of uh, system of linear equations okay so here is an example okay we have got uh, 7x minus uh, 15y equal to 2 so that's uh, equation 1 and then we have got another equation x plus 2y equal to 3 which is equation number 2 all right now how can we solve uh, or how can we find out the values of uh, x and y right that's the uh, question before us so we can use the substitution methods okay and let's see how we can use the substitution method to solve or uh, to find out the values of x and y so what we can do is that in substitution method we just have to express um, x in terms of y or y in terms of uh, x and then substitute the value of x or y in the other equations uh, and, and solve for it okay so uh, you know let's take the second equation first so x x plus 2y equal to 3 so we'll just take 2y to the right hand side okay so x becomes 3 minus 2y uh, remember um, if you take something uh, or a particular term from the left hand side of the equation to the right hand side uh, the sign uh, of that particular uh, term changes okay so it's a uh, positive 2y when it go, goes to the right hand side it becomes negative 2y okay so x can be expressed as 3 minus 2y okay so we are expressing x in terms of uh, uh, y we can actually express y in terms of x as well that's also fine right um and we'll get to the same answer there's nothing wrong with that so we'll first express x in terms of y and we'll also express um, y in terms of x and we'll check if the answers are correct okay so in in this side i'm uh, first let's substitute the value of uh, x in the first equation okay so got the value of uh, x in terms of y from the second equation let's substitute this in the first equation okay so let's substitute the value of x in the first equation and that's why it is known as substitution okay method of substitution so in place of x we'll just write 3 minus 2y minus 15y equal to 2 all right so what you've done is in place of x we have just substituted uh, this particular expression x equal to 3 minus 2y so in place of x we have just uh, put 3 minus 2y okay which implies just multiply it 7 multiplied to 3 which is 21 and then 7 multiplied to 2 14y minus 15y which was already there in place equal to 2 okay and then 21 minus 14y and then 15y okay both are minus that means you can take the uh, minus one common and then that becomes 14y plus 15y within bracket equal to 2 okay and then 21 minus 14 plus 15y is 29y right equal to 2 uh, which is um, so let's take 21 to the right hand side so minus 29y is equal to 2 minus 21 okay so minus 29y is equal to minus 19 right 2 minus 21 is 9 minus 19 right which implies y equal to minus 19 divided by minus 29 because when you solve this uh, the, the uh, numbers associated with y will uh, go to the denominator right so this is the answer this is the value of y 
how do we find the value of x well we already know the expression for x x equal to 3 minus 2y so we just have to um, put this value here and then we'll get the answer so we can cancel minus from both sides if as you know that if uh, the negative sign is there in numerator and denominator you can simply cancel it out okay so uh, y is nothing but 19 divided by 29 okay so let's find out what's the value of x so x is 3 minus 2 multiplied to the value of y and the value of y is 19 by 29 okay and that comes out to be 3 minus uh, this is 38 divided by 29 okay which implies uh, 29 multiplied to 3 um, this is 87 minus 38 by 29 okay and that comes out to be uh, this is 9 and then this is 49 by 29 so the value of x is 49 by 29 and the value of y is 19 by 29 okay so x is 49 by 29 and y is uh, 19 by 29 so this is the answers we have got so this is how you can you know uh, use the substitution method to solve a uh, system of linear equations so this can be extended to more than um, two variables so we need not have just x and y okay so we can have x y z uh, you know more than two number of variables but remember one thing if you have three variables you should have minimum three linear equations okay like you have two variables in this case x and y and we have got two linear equations right equation one and equation two if you have third variable uh, let's say z uh, is there then you should have other equations okay so so that's an important criteria to be made now initially i told you that um, that uh, we are substituting the value of x in the first equation instead of substituting the value of x you can actually substitute the value of y and you will get to the same answer okay so for that what you need to do is just express the value of uh, y in terms of x and then put it in uh, put the expression in the first equation and follow the same steps so how 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 do you do it so we know x plus 2y equal to 3 that means 2y e equal to 3 minus x right uh, which implies y equal to 3 minus x divided by 2 so you can express the value of y in terms of x and you simply follow what we have done uh, while substituting the value of x so in place of y you just substitute 3 minus x by 2 and solve the equation and you will get the value of x first and then um, from there you can get the value of y using this equation okay so you can try it out and you, you will see that uh, we'll get the same answers okay so either way we'll get the same answer for uh, x and y all right so it will uh, take another example and this particular example will solve by another method known as the elimination method okay uh, remember that um, you can um, use the substitution method to uh, solve uh, this particular problem as well okay but we will use another method to solve it okay so it's your choice but sometimes elimination method is easier than substitution method so here is this problem we have got uh, two equations and there are two variables in place x and y we have got equation 1 
and then we have got equation 2. The equation 1 is 9x minus 4y equal to 2000 and equation 2 is 7x minus 3y equal to uh, 2000. So how do we uh, solve by elimination method? So the uh, objective of elimination method is to, uh, to remove uh, one of the one of the uh, term from the equation okay uh, or one of the variable from the equation either it is y or x okay uh, if you look at these two equations equation 1 and equation 2 you will see that y has a coefficient of 4 in this case and um, 3 in this case so what you can do is that um, multiply 4 here 4 in, uh, in this equation and multiply 3 in this equation okay if you do that the coefficient of y will be same okay you can do the same with x also right uh, you can multiply 7 uh, in this equation and multiply 9 in this equation and you will see the coefficient x becomes same so let's do it and it will be uh, very clear okay so let's multiply 3 in the first equation so what it becomes 3 multiplied to 9x minus 4y uh, so when you multiply you have to multiply in the both side right 2000 which implies 3 multiplied to 9x so that is uh, 27x minus 12y equal to 6000 right and then we'll multiply 4 in the second equation so how do you know 4 to be multiplied because the coefficient of y in the first equation is 4 so we'll multiply the coefficient of uh, y in the first second equation and the coefficient of uh, uh, y in the second equation in the first equation right so 4 multiplied to um, 7x minus 3y so we have to multiply it in both sides of the equation all right and that becomes uh, 28x minus 12y equal to 6000 now you can see that the coefficient of y in both these equation equation uh, let's call it equation 3 and equation 4 are same right so here you can say it's tw minus 12 and here also it's minus 12 so the good thing about this is that now we can subtract equation uh, 4 minus 3 okay we can subtract these two equations so that one of the term or this particular term or the y term will uh, gets cancelled out because the coefficient in in, uh, in both the equation for y is same so what will happen is that we'll simply uh, what we do is subtract uh, equation 2 minus equation uh, 1 okay so equation 1 minus equation 2 or, or either way equation 2 minus equation 1 doesn't make a difference okay that's not an issue so 27x minus 12y minus 28x minus 12y equal to um, 6000 minus 6000 okay so that comes out to be zero okay so when you uh, expand this expression it becomes 27x minus 12y and then minus 21 8x 28x plus so negative and then negative when negative 1 multiplied to negative it becomes positive right 12y equal to 0 okay so here in this expression we have uh, negative 12y uh, and then positive 12y so they will get cancelled out right that becomes 0 or they get cancelled out negative 12x positive 12x okay so what remains is 27x minus 28x equal to 0 okay which implies negative x because uh, 27x minus 28x so that is nothing but negative of x equal to 0 which implies 
that x is equal to 0. And how do we find the value of y? We simply substitute this, um, substitute the value of x in the expression for y. Okay. Um, so we substitute the value of x in any uh, one of these equations. Okay. Um, so what it becomes? So 9x minus 4y is equal to 2000, right? So when you substitute the value of x in this particular equation, okay, so what we get is 9 multiplied to 0, which is 0, minus 4y is equal to 2000. Or this expression becomes 0, so 9 multiplied to 0 is 0, implies minus 4y is equal to 2000 which implies y equal to uh, negative 2000 by 4 okay because um, you know this particular number uh, it, it it goes to the denominator when we solve this right so y becomes uh, negative uh, 2000 uh, by 4 so y is uh, minus 2000 by 4 is minus 500 right when you cancel out it becomes uh, y equal to minus 500 so that's the way uh, you can solve um, system of linear equations by using substitution method and elimination method and remember you can extend these two methods to uh, more than uh, two variables and you can actually take um, an example to solve this so in another video I'm going to take uh, you know more than three variables uh, and solve the system of linear equations by these two methods. Thank you so much.